are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, here we go, guys. The NFL season is kicking off right now between the defending NFL champion Kansas City Chiefs and the Detroit Lions. Now, guys, the pregame. I turned it on. I was waiting for everything to start up. And then all of a sudden, guys, the black national anthem in quotation started playing on live TV. And then after that, the teams ran off the field after the playing of lift every voice and sing. This confused a whole bunch of people, guys, because everybody was thinking, all right, you played the quote unquote black national anthem. Where was the actual national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. After Lift Every Voice and Sing, the teams actually ran off the field. And boy, the NFL, they got crushed. They were getting crushed on social media, guys, over here on Nets. And also, by the way, we got quite a few Bud Light ads. And you guys know how Bud Light is, even though Bud Light is a partner of the NFL. This was a terrible look, guys, for the NFL. And actually, guys, after the playing of the quote unquote black national anthem. Fans were booing at Arrowhead Stadium, guys. They were probably thinking, wait a minute, you played the black national anthem. What actually happened to the national anthem? Listen into this, guys. That was right after the Black National Anthem, guys. That's as loud as I can get it. Going to try to boost it up in um, post. The NFL got crushed. I was looking at all of these comments, guys, because I was thinking, wait a minute. Did did NBC just not air the National Anthem at all? I was waiting. I was waiting. I was waiting. I was actually texting on Rhodes. And Rhodes is like, did they not play the National Anthem? Because usually it's back to back. That was not the case today, guys. It was not the case. Let's see here. Some of these comments, man, they were really, really crushing. The black national anthem and the NFL not playing the actual national anthem here. And some people think they were booing the opposing team. That wasn't the case. These people were booing. The national anthem or the uh, black national anthem, I should actually say. Uh, Let's see here. Very disrespectful. Uh, What else we got going on here? Uh, Maybe we quit making making up anthems. Should we uh, should have booed louder and kneeled? It's okay when they do it for the real anthem, but not when they do it uh, to their imaginary anthem. Double standard. Um. I'm not going to say that right there. Nobody wants a black national anthem. The NFL really has to get rid of singing, lift their voice and sing. It is very, very divisive. But Roger Goodell and the NFL, they want to continue to do this. 20 minutes ago, guys, after the black national anthem, another tweet comes out. They better play the real national anthem. I was under the impression, guys. They were not playing the actual national anthem or they didn't air it. And Rose was like, wait a minute, what is going on? He said he was about to turn off the TV. If they didn't play the national anthem. But apparently, guys, they actually did play the national anthem. It was um, a gospel singer, Natalie Grant, right here. She actually um, sung the national anthem at the game. But the problem is, guys, it left everybody confused. It took like 30 minutes between the playing of lift every voice and sing and this anthem, anthem, the real national anthem. People were crushing the NFL for this, crushing the NFL. Wow. Man. This is a bad look here for the NFL, guys. A bad look. Uh, 
You can still see there booing the black national anthem. We only have one national anthem. This person um, tweets out, this is how everyone should react to the black national anthem. And people, when they were actually playing the uh, playing lift your voice and sing. People in the stands were being respectful of it at that time. But I guess when they saw the players run off the field, I think that um, I think that the fans were actually thinking, wait a minute, we're not going to do the national anthem. And then that's when they started booing. Man, th- this is very, very divisive, guys. It's divisive. The NFL really, really did drop the ball on this one. And they deserve to get crushed for it. Usually they play it back to back, but not this time. I was thinking that they just um, played the national anthem, you know, while it was actually on commercial, which would actually be very, very disrespectful. Because national anthem, number one trending thing on Nets, on the sports. Everybody was talking about this thing. Everybody was. I didn't hear the way the uh, the person actually uh, sounded. I mean, this person here is even um, criticizing um, uh, the playing of the Black National Anthem here. Said it sounded um, didn't sound very good. I actually heard it. They kind of missed some notes. It was um, a kid's choir. So I'm not going to really be too hard on them. They're just out there trying to sing. But the problem is the NFL, this is um, what they do. This is divisive. And I still believe guys, they still got um in racism in the end zones again, still got these social justice um uh signals out there. Apparently, the NFL doesn't know how to end racism after three years. Three years. But man, Roger Goodell and the NFL, man, they they getting crushed for this. They are getting crushed for this. It doesn't seem like, man, they want it to end at all. And all this virtue signaling needs to end. It needs to end. People just want sports. We have one national anthem. We don't have two. We only have one. We are supposed to be the United States of America and not divided on race. But Roger Goodell, if you keep doing this, you're going to get crushed every single time. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know. Stick about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.